we present GART, Gaussian Articulated Template Models, an explicit, efficient, and expressive representation for articulated subject capturing and rendering from monocular videos. Across video frames, generic template models such as simple and small are very useful. They serve as a strong and robust categorical prior for us to associate and aggregate information. Recent approaches build implicit nerfs on such templates to render and reconstruct. While they achieve high quality due to the expressivity of the implicit, they compromise the rendering and deformation speed and simplicity. Such methods may also behave unrobust under error pose initialization. On the other hand, explicit representations are simple, efficient, and more robust, but they are constrained by fixed mesh topology or using extremely many points, etc. GARD explicitly approximates the underlying implicit radiance field with Gaussian mixtures. Each Gaussian component is parameterized by the center that corresponds to the mean, the rotation plus anisotropic scaling factors that construct the covariance, the opacity, and the color spherical harmonics, which is presented in section 3.2. Such a GMM approximation enables efficient and simple deformation modeling via learnable linear blend skinning, exploiting the generic template model skeleton. However, a predefined generic template skeleton may not cover more complex deformation, such as the motion of long skirts. Our insight is that the complex deformation is also driven by unobserved latent bones, and we can optimize additional latent bones and their skinning weights. Please see sections 3.1 and 3.3 for more details. Another advantage of GARD is it exploits the efficiency of Gaussian splatting to approximate the volume rendering, resulting in our high efficiency for both fitting and inference. Typically, GART can be fitted to people snapshot videos in 30 seconds and can be rendered at 150 fps on a laptop. More details are in section 3.4. Although the GMM is amazing, its explicit point-based nature is not as smooth to optimize as modern nerfs. We address these challenges by using k-nearest neighbor variance regularization and distilling the learnable skinning weights to voxel grids. More details are in section 3.4. We now show the captured and rendered human subjects from the ZJU mockup dataset. The left columns are the novel views, and the right is the novel poses reanimation. Here are the results on people snapshot. Note that, on a laptop, our model can be fitted in under 30 seconds, and the inference can achieve more than 150 fps. Unlike ZJU mockup and people snapshot, we experiment with extremely challenging in the wild monocular videos. The input videos on the left column are from UBC Fashion, which has complex dynamic clothes and fast motion. While GART still performs reasonably in the middle column, the state of the art method Instant Avatar may fail in the right column. Note how Instant Avatar can capture the upper body, but fails to capture the highly dynamic area. GARD is a general representation that can also work for animals. We show very challenging in the wild monocular dog video clips in the first row. Our captured dog models are shown in the middle and are reanimated with novel poses at the bottom. Here are more captured dogs. Note how GARD can capture diverse dog breeds. Our method is general and is not constrained to only work with monocular videos. Here, we demo a new application using only text to generate articulated subjects represented by GART via replacing the rendering reconstruction loss with an SDS loss, which distills a pre-trained stable diffusion model to 3D. Please see our supplementary document for more details. Thanks for watching. More details are in our paper and supplementary material.